What is up guys, Flame here. Today I'm going to be making a flame ass video for y'all. I'm going to be showing y'all the trick that a lot of you might know, a lot of you might not know. It is how to lower your car in GTA. Now this can give you two advantages. One, it looks awesome. The second is beneficial. This one actually makes your car go fast. And I'm also, before I get into the actual video showing how to do it, I'm going to let you guys know some great cars to do it with. So, if you know this glitch, I'm going to be telling you one of the best cars, well, some of the best cars to do it with. So, I'm going to tell you this. With the car called the Fister Con, not the Retro, the regular Con, if you only lower the back end of it, and then you get your, like, your feet, and, like, you kick the back end a little bit, not too much, kick it about two times on each side, because if you kick it too much, it's going to start smoking, you don't want that, but do that, lower only the back end on the Comet, and kick each side in about two times, just, like, give it two kicks on each side, one of the best cars, you can win top speed challenges in GTA with it, you'll go, like, one... 70 or something. I think I got mine up for 170 before top speed. You'll beat anyone at the airport. Another good car to do it with is the Sultan RS. It's not half as good as the Comet by any means, but it's still a good car because it's all wheel drive and has a pretty good takeoff and stuff already. And when you lower it, it gives it extra speed and stuff. So that's really it for that. So those are just two cars. And then you can, you know, for yourself, you can test some others if you want. But here's how you do it. You, your car needs to not have bulletproof tires. And you need to, you know, park it. Make sure nobody's around you. If anybody that's an online player is around you, it's going to just pop your tire. I don't know why. I don't know if it's because they're looking or what. But if anyone's around you it's gonna pop your tire for some reason I guess cuz they're seeing your screen I have no idea why but it's just part of the glitch if they see your tires gonna pop and like I said you need to have no bulletproof tires on your car if you have bulletproof tires you can't do the glitch but to start off you wanna get your gun don't do it too much try finding the points see go as low as you can cuz the lower you go the less damage your car a lot of cars for some reason if you shoot it too high, they'll just blow up like like for no reason. So you gotta shoot as low as you can. So right there is the lowest point I can go. Uh, this car is easier. It doesn't blow up as easy. Not the best car to do it. So I just did it because I was driving. I'm going to show you guys. The glitch. So as you see, the car is lowering. You know, going down. This car doesn't blow up easy, so I don't gotta worry about that. But if you're using like the Runer or something, be very careful. To those, like, so as you guys saw, I just danced my car. So like I said, it'll look cool. It looks like it looks all low and stuff, which is awesome. And it's gonna be fast. I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell, but I should have like a timer or something. But it will make your car faster, I promise you. Depending what car you use, some cars slow it down. Do it on the comments. And this is how to stand to lower your car, plus make it go faster. It also helps with drifting. I should have mentioned that in the beginning. Just if you, some of the cars, if you do it, it'll be like make it amazing at drifting. Anyways, though, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And this is how to stand to lower your car. And I did give you guys some benefit or some cars that benefit from it a lot. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Anyways, with that being said, this is your boy Flame. I'm about to sign out. Peace.